Welcome to fit to box channel please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads today I have got a new company to fit to box channel and that is prize ring professional as you can see there with that large silver logo uh, these are gloves that are in 12 ounce I'm going to give a full review of these gloves they are made in Pakistan but prize ring are from Tokyo in Japan and as you can see in the white, red and blue, these are a good looking glove actually, I do like the style of them. These are the 5.0. Now these are the first time I've had a pair of prize ring gloves, so I haven't seen version 1, 2, 3 or 4. This is 5.0, I presume that's what's happened. So if this is the fifth incarnation of these gloves, I think they've done a really good job. Um, it says on there, handmade with craftsmanship which made me laugh because uh, normally obviously it's handmade in Mexico or handmade in Japan or handmade in Pakistan, whatever it is, but uh, handmade with craftsmanship there. Okay, so let me just show you the gloves there. As you can see, you've got quite a thick Velcro with a cloth badge on there as well, and that provides good wrist support when it comes to there. Let's just show you the inside. The inside, very soft, very comfortable in there. These gloves are made of 100% uh, cowhide leather. I'll put one on for you. Uh, price of them, 92 US dollars. Or uh, about 73 English pounds. The only thing when I was hitting uh, the bags was I did feel like at the end that there was a little bit of vibration at the end, as if as if my sort of top tip of my thumb was sort of taking a bit of the impact. That was at first. I did get used to them, but just like banging them there, I did feel it again. You can see there the thumb attachment 
on there. Um, so my thumb is right at the end of there. Now, of course, I am sort of British, European. Um, I've perhaps got bigger hands than sort of most Japanese people. So for obviously Japanese people, that might be a perfect thumb. Uh, for me, my thumb is right at the end there, okay? So just have a look at the stitching. And no issues with the stitching. In fact, neat, I would say, on the stitching front. I'll show you this one as well, I'll show you the wrist. So just have a look at that wrist stitching. And then all the way around, so you can see in there as well. And they're quite a slim, I know they're 12 ounce, but they're quite a slim glove. When it comes to the weight of them, as you can see, it indicates on there, 12 ounce. But they come out at the left is 11 and 3 quarters. So that's a little light for a Velcro glove. Of course, they should be uh, 12 ounces prior to the Velcro. So prior to that sort of wide thin velcro there the left one comes out at 11 and three quarters the right one comes out at 12 and a half so 12 and a half ounces for a 12 and a, for a 12 ounce velcro glove is spot on okay so this glove is perfect for the weight this one is a little light okay so because of the price of them they do come into the fit to box velcro welterweight division for gloves between 51 English pounds and 100 English pounds and also 61 US dollars and 120 US dollars. So let me put on screen the fit to box ratings card. So I've gone style 93, comfort 93, durability 92, sparring 92, Bag, 93. Value for money, I've gone 94 at that price of 73 pounds or 92 US dollars. And so overall, I've gone with 92.8. Uh, I'll put on the screen as well uh, where these feature in that welterweight fit to box Velcro division. But they are a really solid, decent glove for the price that you pay. I'm gonna put both of them on so I can tell you about the comfort of both uh, the finger pad at the front is fine very nice a little gathered just behind the finger nails just on this one the thumb as I say my thumbs right at the end of there the rest of the thumb is sort of quite comfortable uh, it's not too tight there which obviously can be a problem on some gloves you can open up fine uh, remember these are a 12 ounce glove so if these was in 16 ounce it may be that my thumb would be fine in there okay so just bear that in mind as well i am quite a big chap at six foot four and about 16 stone i haven't got massive hands but i've probably got no bigger hands than say a guy who is five nine five eight okay and i'll bring that round as well and again the same thing very comfortable on the fingertips uh, this one seems, you know, okay behind the fingernails and on that first finger knuckle, comfortable. Just at the end of that thumb, as I say, 12 ounce gloves, normally I'll wear 16. Open the glove fine and no problems at the front of the thumb there. Uh, there is the punch surface, as you can see. Uh, that cloth badge may get a little dirty over time. Uh, but I do like the style of them. I really like that big logo in the silver at the rear. I like the how they've badged up both on the front of the glove and at the rear. And I think that they've made a really good solid glove for that price point. So I just wanted to introduce you to those. I have got some more reviews that will be coming off Prize Ring Gear. I can tell you now, those pads are fantastic. Okay, I've done a little bit of pad work at home here. We're still in sort of COVID restrictions. I have used them with my daughter who is coming up to 14 and as you've seen her on previous videos, very good on the pads and those pads are fantastic. I would say that those pads are some of the best pads that I have used. So that review is to come. Of course, again, because of COVID, we're not allowed to spar here in England. So the head guard, I'm gonna to have to leave that until the rules allow me to try it. 
Again, very comfortable, but I haven't been able to try it in the ring. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel, and I shall speak to you soon.